this is how my style went from this to this. So, it basically all started in middle school. I didn't really have a style. My basic style was just wearing like skinny jeans and the cool ass t-shirt. I was like, if the t-shirt is nice, everything goes well. Like, I basically wore the stuff my mom bought me. And in high school, things changed a little bit. I mainly wore just like hoodies and sweaters. I didn't really have a style. It was just like, I didn't mind how it looked. Rather, as long as it was like comfy, I, I wore it, right? And then the end of year 12 came and I was trying a few things. Like, I tried a middle part, but my hair was way too short. And I, I kind of tried to style like different combination of clothing, like two layers and then a bottom. And I thought it would like, it looked quite decent, but I definitely was too scared and not confident enough to wear it in school. So I immediately made my middle part to a side part again. And yeah, that was it. And, but that was kind of a start because I cared a little bit about fashion. So that's where I slowly got into it. And then the pandemic hit and I must say that was probably the biggest blessing in terms of fashion sense for me because I became curious to elevate my style and fashion. And that's probably tip number one. You want to change, you want to change your clothing. You put effort into that and you reflect on your style, right? So I think that's step number one if you want to change your appearance. I was 19 at the time or like 18. I never online shopped once in my life. And it was, I swear to God, it was low, it was high key fun to experiment, like trying to express yourself differently through your style. Yeah, for example, this jacket and the t-shirt, in fact, both I saw from my sister. I quite like this fit. It was during the pandemic and I had a middle part, finally. Finally, I had a middle part. Oh my days. And then end of 2020 came and I still tried different niches. Like I tried K fashion, like Korean fashion. I ordered a few things and tried them out. Like for example, this and yeah, that kind of got me into jewelry as well. And my tip number two is try out new things. Like if you are unsatisfied anyways right now, might as well just try something completely new or like a different branch. For example, if you are currently rocking streetwear and you want to change a few things up, you might as well just branch into skater style or K style because those styles have like similar traits. Like most of the things are like baggy, loose fits. Fashion is basically try and error. You try something out, you feel like you like it or you don't feel confident in it. Well, if you don't like it, just try something else. I mean, I know it will be kind of expensive at the end if you try a lot of things, but trust me, it's worth it. Um, like the main reason for me to try things out, honestly, was TikTok. I'm not gonna lie, that was the year I downloaded TikTok. With that, I, I quite got a bit of inspiration. I was like, oh shit, his style is actually so nice. And I tried to copy like similar things. And my tip number three is get inspiration, get inspired. Like essentially, you can easily find inspiration just on TikTok, Pinterest or Instagram. You just search up like your outfit niche, look up outfits you kind of feel like is nice. Like this is still how I do it sometimes. If I want to change something or get like new pieces, you just go on Pinterest. You look up like whatever, let's say Korean, Korean outfits, right? Korean outfits boy, I don't know, and uh, a lot of pictures pop up and you just scroll uh, until you see something you find like interesting and you want to try it out. With that, you just find the pieces and buy it yourself and then you can try things out like, yeah. And as you can see, I grew my hair even longer. I let a barber cut it, uh, but I swear to God, it was glow up time. That was the time when I glue up, man. And after that, I felt so fresh. Man, I was confident. I, I That was a confidence boost. This glow up, holy shit, I still remember that. Oh my days. My clothing style didn't change 
too much. I say like street work, kind of Korean style, and I took way more pictures in public than I've ever did until then. Like with better style, your confidence gets like boosted. If you feel confident, like no no no, if you like feel comfortable in your clothing and your style at all like in general you will have a confidence boost you just feel yourself like you just walk around like damn i look good and before that i was like kind of more insecure and shy about that because i was like i didn't really pay attention to my clothing at all that was like not even part of my thought process like right like how to present myself but now i know i'm presenting myself like nicely and like that gave me like a Good confidence boost so and with the haircut i got a perm as well that came from tiktok as well i'm not even kidding i saw those perm videos on my for you page i was like wait maybe i can try that a few months passed like my style still hasn't really changed but my hair started to grow again then i kind of discovered like a color color is that how you pronounce that c-o-l-l-a-r that kind of thing you know that was like one of my favorite fits at all times back then i wore like different sweats with this kind of thing and yeah that was like my thing i had like this confidence boost that i even wore like eyeliner on parties usually i would i never thought i would ever go for eyeliner on a party but I tried it and I liked it and then I moved to Berlin like a few months after that my style changed a bit again I was like I bought like one vest I was like trying maybe I can try vests and stuff I enjoyed that as well I'm not gonna lie those vests that was like a phase like a few months as well tip number four it's not really a tip but like the more experience you get the more you have a feeling what kind of clothing goes well with like another clothing i just found this vest and i was like oh i think this goes well with my pants at home you just collect my experience make sense yeah kind of right and now i really have a tip for you guys don't pay fucking if you see a 30 euro perm don't fucking do it don't do it that's my biggest tip in this video don't just don't 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 if the price is too good to be true it is too good to be true because the perm is gonna be shit, man. I was looking up the internet and I was like, oh shit, where can I find a good perm and a cheap one? I thought I found one. I was like, oh shit, 30 euros? Oh my days, that's such a good deal. Surprise, surprise, it wasn't a good deal. Not at all, man. I My hair was fried. I was not happy with the outcome at all. Look at my face. I think it says it all. And look at my hair. It's fried, man. It's fried. That was like my perm phase. My bad perm phase. Uh, yeah. A few months after, I cut my hair short again because I wanted healthy hair. Um, yeah. Guess what? Another fail. My hair was too short. And with that tip number six. That's not really a tip. How to elevate your style. But... Don't tell your barber twice that he should cut it shorter. I did it and then he lost patience and he cut my hair too short. He was cutting my hair. I was like, oh, it's still kind of long. I'm not gonna lie. And I asked him to cut it shorter again. After he did that, I was like, huh, I kind of feel like it's still too long. And then I told him, I asked him, sir, do you mind cutting it a bit shorter again? And then I saw his eyes and he lost patience. Like he just straight bam 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 cut it way too short. I was like, am I, am I, uh, am I, uh, I was just sitting like, um, fuck, that's way too short, but I cannot say anything because I asked him to do so. And then, yeah, this was the result. <laughs> And so I tried leather jackets. It was like my first black leather jacket I tried. Yeah. And then in the summer, I tried tank tops. I really like them. I still really like tank tops. But that was the timing when I started TikTok, the get ready with me. Maybe you still recognize the fit. Probably not. But maybe. 
of course we can't forget my red hair phase. That was the first time I ever colored my hair. I really wanted to try something new, like completely new. And I was like, a perm again? Nah, let's try color. So I had a friend who had red hair and it looked quite good on him. So I was like, maybe I can, maybe I can try it as well. And turned out pretty good, I'd say. A few months later, yo, I discovered parachute pants. And with that grub core, I was in luck with that for at least three months straight. That was my most favorite fit. It was cold outside, it was like below zero degrees, but in my head, nah, I have to look good. I'm still putting these fucking thin ass parachute pants on. I wore raining jackets when it was snowing. That wasn't a good idea. It was cold as shit. I still wore it. And yeah, I was really a fan of Gropor. The best discovery in my life were like compression shirts. I'm not even I'm not even kidding. Compression shirts changed my life. If you are, if you're a guy or a girl, just try compression shirts. That's tip number eight. Number eight, try compression shirts. So overall, my style was then like baggy on the bottom and tight on the top. I went back to black hair because my red hair was kind of overgrowing. It kind of looked nasty and I tried baggy jeans. That was the first time ever I really wore baggy jeans. I know it took a while. During summer, I only wore like gym shorts and a baggy top. Oh, and my last tip is don't care about the fucking opinions of others. Like you are dressing for yourself, not for your family, not for your friends, not for your partner. You are dressing how you like it and nobody else, right? So if you feel good and confident and somebody else comes up and says, yo, you fit this kind of ass, don't fucking listen to them. It's about you. It's about how you feel. You don't want to impress other people. The only one to impress is yourself. So yeah, I know it's kind of hard to don't give a fuck, but you have to learn to not give a fuck what others think. So at the end, it's about you, how you feel. Yeah, this is like my emphasis to you. Um, I know it takes a lot of balls to um, go out with a new completely style, which is like maybe like kinda hard. Maybe you live in a town where everyone knows everyone and you just want to try something completely out of the norm. I know it can be hard, but I definitely believe that you can do this. And guys, don't forget that this is a process. It's like not instant. You can't get like from day one to day two, get like a completely different fashion sense or style or a feeling. You can't skip the steps. It just comes out naturally. It will take a while, but at the end, it's gonna be worth it. Some, it might take a few, a few months, a few weeks, a few years. Maybe it might change after a few years. It's like, it's like a never ending process. You always change for the better, hopefully, <laughs> but you will definitely change. So um, yeah, don't rush it. It will come up naturally. And yeah. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, this is a different type of video. I hope you guys still enjoy that. But we are coming back with normal as vlogs. And with that, I would say play the trailer. There is no trailer, but we are going to Paris. We are going to Paris. Mm -hmm.